stay right there, man. Listen, this is what happens. In the Bible days, when they came to worship, they didn't have any chairs. What they would do is they would get on their knees and they would bow. They would bow in the presence of God. You demonstrated a love to everybody around you only to find out you don't love yourself the same way you've been loving everything and everybody else. I'm talk- I didn't come for the play or the fake worshiper. I came for the naked worshiper that says, God, here I am. This is my stance and I want to be made whole. But the only way to be made whole in worship is you got to come to him naked. Prophetess, I woke up this morning. I had so much joy. Go to F sharp. I did something I didn't do in years. After 25 years of my mom being gone, Pastor Jamila, I realized I didn't grieve. I got consumed in my gift. I got consumed. I hid my pain in preaching. I hid my pain in singing. I hid my pain in prophesying and watching others receive miracles and said, God, I'm okay with living broken like this. But after last night, y'all can play with it if you want to. If you don't get not another testimony after last night, I am no longer the same. I laid in my bed. God gave me this song and I didn't understand why it couldn't be released yet. But y'all about to hear it. God gave me this song about love. I could be transparent because I don't care no more. I don't got to hide behind nothing because I'm free for real. You know, I said, I'm free for real. You could know my dirt. You could know my past. You could know my mess. I really don't care because it did not disqualify me for my future. God gave me this song and I'm going to sing it to y'all tonight. I pray that it blesses you. It says, I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. With all my heart and my soul. I love you. said God this doesn't make any sense he said Tiffany you have looked for love in all of the wrong places he said they left but I never left you so begin to pin the song there were times in my life I felt so alone I felt so unwanted felt on my own And it seemed no one, no one cared, cared. but then I met Jesus who showed a love that's so pure, a love so unconditional, a love that really cures everything concerning me, that's why I love you. I love you, Jesus, with all my heart and my soul. I love you, Jesus. Said I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I love you. I love you, Jesus. For the real ones of the world.
Jesus. I love you, Jesus. All my heart and my soul. All my heart and my soul.
can I just uh, give me one more hymn? She would say, he's a wonder <laughs> in my soul. God is a wonder <laughs> in my soul. I got some old schoolers in here. Yeah, God is a wonder in my Thank <laughs> you. 
supposed to leave. I'm sorry. We don't know how to act. I'm sorry.
the Holy Ghost to say this. So I don't want you to think that I'm trying to be extra or any of those things. But I need you to know this as a little sister, as an onlooker. Because see, some people are in your cipher and in your circle. But then some people look at you from afar off, like me, and say, I want to be like that. I don't have to know all of your story, but I know that you're a God woman. And I have my own, I have my own personal testimony there at times she's reached out to me not even knowing I'm going through the worst hell of my life one time you called me I was going to end it all and I said nobody knows what I'm fighting or dealing with you said sis what's going on with you I'm checking on you you know we give the political answer I'm blessed I'm fine I'm okay. I'm good. You stopped me from taking the pills. And if y'all don't know, if you don't get another testimony from this she favor, which I know you will, know that you saved my life. God used you to say, can y'all make some noise for the lady, the queen herself? Pastor Lady Jamila Gooding. I want to sing this to you tonight and then we're going to go sit down and let y'all, Lady Jaqueline and Carr is in, in the room. Can y'all make some noise? I love you. She done encouraged everybody. Can we take only maybe a minute to encourage her. Is that all right? Can y'all sisters help me? Okay. This is a song that somebody wrote, but I want to encourage you. It won't always be like this. The Lord will perfect that concerning you.
Hallelujah. Can we bless the name of the Lord? Hallelujah. Come on, open your mouth and bless him in this house. Hallelujah. Glory to God. For the Lord is worthy to be praised. Amen. We thank God. Amen. For she favor. We thank God for Jesus. Can we give it up for Jesus? Come on. Can we give it up for Jesus? Come on. Because had it not been for the Lord who was on your side, where would you be? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We thank God. Amen. For the host. Amen. My sister, Pastor Jamila Gooden. Amen. And her fine husband, Apostle Gooden. Amen. Thank God for all of you who are out tonight. I come to introduce just, y'all all know who she is. And if you don't know, you will know tonight that the Spirit of God moves through this vessel. If you open up your hearts and allow God to minister to your spirit, tonight your life will change. I want you to stand all over this building as we introduce to some and present to others Evangelist Jacqueline Carr. Come on, let's bless God for the woman of God. Come on, you can do better than that. Can you clap your hands and give Jesus some praise in here tonight? Oh, come on, we can do better than that. Clap those hands, clap those hands, clap those hands. I don't know about you. Can I have some more volume in my mic, please? I don't know about you, but I believe that God brought you here to shift some stuff on your behalf. I don't know who I'm talking to up in here tonight, but if that's you, you ought to just take this moment and go ahead and give your God glory because it's a, in a matter of a few moments, your life is about to shift for the better. I said your life, I said your life is about to shift. You ought to open up your mouth and give God glory. As you're resting upon your feet, God is doing something spectacular. As you're resting upon your feet, help me give God praise for this mighty, beautiful woman of God, Pastor Jillian. Help me give God praise for her and her husband, Pastor Gooden. Can you help me give God praise for him? I got it. I was a little close. <laughs> I just met you, but oh my goodness, you both are amazing. I look forward to seeing what God will continue to do in your life. Can you one more time help me give God praise for them? And then my sister, that old Tiffany. Can you help me give God praise for this woman of God? My goodness. I love you, sis, and you know that. Now, is there anybody out there that say, God, I need you to change my story. I need you. If you believe that God is changing your story, let me hear you scream.
said he's changing your story from failure to success anybody believe that from bound to freedom yeah from lack to the abundance hey from defeat you ought to lift your hand and say somebody open your mouth and shout it I'm going from defeated from defeated to winning God's got to change your location from defeated to winning yeah there won't be a sorry number now I need you to look at your sister or whoever's sitting beside you look at him and say neighbor Come on, say it with power. Say, neighbor, in just a few moments, God is about to give you a new reason to celebrate. Lift your hand in the air. I don't know what the enemy has been using against you to keep you from being where God wants you to be. But I want you to know today your story is changing. I speak to everything that's been holding you captive. And I command it to let you go. I should say, this won't be. This won't be. Come on, everybody declare and say, this won't be. Say, you ought to point to yourself and say, this won't be mine. I suffer with this thing long enough. This won't be mine. Let your voice say, God is, God is. Somebody say, somebody say, God is changing your story. than that if you believe within your spirit that you serve a big God you ought to just begin to say God I know you're bigger I know I know you're bigger somebody ought to just release your faith in the atmosphere and begin to tell the Lord I know you're bigger I Sing it with me, bigger than the universe. You're bigger than the sun and the stars. You're bigger than the things. Oh my, oh my, oh my. That could tell me you're You're bigger than the universe. I know, I know, I know. You're bigger than the 
sun and the stars, Lord. You are bigger than everything, everything, Jesus, that could tear me apart. And we say together, for I know. Wave your hand and say, you. everybody sing it, for I know. You know that you know that you serve a God. You're bigger than a thing. They'll try to be bigger than a thing. They try to tear us apart. Say, for I know. Why your hand is singing to Daddy Gina? Everybody say, for I know. Say, you are, you are, you are, you are. You are. It doesn't matter what season I'm in. I just steal the Bigger than anything I've seen Bigger, bigger Anybody out there know you serve the big God Just tell the Lord You're bigger, yes you are, Lord Somebody tell them You're bigger, Jesus You're bigger than any marital problem You're bigger than any broken heart Jesus, somebody's going to testify that he's still bigger than diabetes, huh? bigger than ALS, huh? bigger than lupus, huh? bigger than my battles, huh? bigger than your pain, huh? bigger than your past, huh? bigger than your mountain, huh? bigger than your valley. Huh? I don't know who this is for, but you ought to wave your hand huh? and say, I know that you're bigger. Huh? I know that you're bigger. Lift your voice and sing this song to Jesus. You're bigger, yes, you are, Lord. Somebody tell him, you're bigger, Jesus. You're bigger than identity confused. You're even bigger than our mistakes, Lord. Your Lord, your Lord, your Lord, that's you. Bigger than any financial problem. I declare you're bigger than our current situation. For I know you created all the earth. Lift your hand and your voice and say, For I know, for I know you are, you are created all the earth. Say, For I know, say, For I know you are, you are. Sing it to Dad and Jesus. Say, For you beyond what I know you can handle. 
so in other words, if you're in it, you will conquer it. I don't know who this is for, but I need you to high five three people and say, you're going to conquer it. You're going to conquer it. Conquer it. Conquer it. Conquer it. Conquer it.
It's happening, it's happening, it's happening, come on. It's happening, it's happening. That shift that we talked about is happening. God, I give you glory. Heaven is opened for us tonight. I said heaven has opened for us tonight. God said I showed up to ease you of some stuff. showed up to make your load a little lighter. What you once carried, you won't have to carry no more. Oh, I'm taking the weight away from you tonight. I'm taking the weight away from you tonight. receive it cause your load is getting lighter cause your load is getting lighter I said your load is getting lighter your load I'm gonna smile on your face I'm gonna smile on your face you are entering into a new grace. You are entering into a new grace. I don't know if you know it or not, but I'm about to grace you to take off. Ow! I'm about to grace you to take off. Take off. You want to begin to open your mouth and shout, I'm taking off. I'm taking off. I'm taking off. I'm taking off. I see you fly, I see you fly, I see you fly, oh, I see you flying, I don't know who this is for, but I see you flying, he's gracing you to take off tonight, ah, you are a spiritual rocket ship tonight, I believe uh, that on the matter, uh, in the matter of a few moments, uh, that you're about to blast off, uh, into something new you are the open of your believe in prophetic instructions 
And I believe that when you obey God's word, God backs it up with manifestation. Everybody's standing. Everybody's standing. This is what I need you to do. The person that you're standing next to, and Ben, let's get ready for some fire. The person you're standing next to, lay your hand on their shoulder. I told you, you are a spiritual rocket ship tonight. We will all count down from the number five. When we get to number one, I want you to push up and say, blast off. When you declare that, oh, when you release that into the atmosphere, heaven is about to call some things to move and to shift on your behalf. Lay your hand on the shoulder. Come on, come on, get ready, get ready. Against your name, 
more track, please. Baby, we came up against your character. But I want you to know, you will win. Win. You will win. Came up against your help. Come on! Hey. The enemy came up against your finances. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord. The enemy came up against your vision. Oh, Lord. The enemy came up against your business. Oh, 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 oh you will win. Yeah, yeah. You gotta know that you know that you know you will win. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah.
Everybody clap your hands. Run with me, rock. Run with me, rock. Run with me. Everybody clap your hands. Run with me, rock. Run with me. Now, for those of you who know the song from beginning to the end, this is victory, 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 victory. You got me.
changing your story and on that album there's a song called Jehovah Jireh if y'all don't mind can we just release that into the atmosphere anybody know him to be Jehovah Jireh let's release that all over this place hallelujah Show me a sign. So today I challenge heaven. Cause I feel that the spirit is manifestation. So here I am, Jesus. All I have is your word. Show yourself to be God. I know you won't let me die.
will, he will. Can I have a Baptist fit? I just want to have a Baptist fit. He will, he will, he will. He, I just need somebody to go with me. You want to wave your hand in the air and say, God will, God will, God will. He's going to provide. for me, F sharp, keep it searching for me. It's been a pleasure to stand before you tonight. But I cannot leave here without telling you that if you want it, you can have it. Is there anybody that believe it's yours? You ought to just point to three people and say, it's yours, it's yours, it's yours, it's yours, it's yours. Now I have one rule for this song. Just one rule. And that is, you got to give God the best dance you have. Are y'all ready to give him praise? I said, are y'all ready to give him a dance? Let's go! Hey! Hey! If you want it, you can have it. If you need it, you can have it. It's yours. It's yours.
Hallelujah. I dare you to clap those hands and give them a praise. Just look down your row and tell them the more I call them, the better I feel. I said, look down your row and say, the more I call them, the better I feel. Come on, clap. Give them some glory. Come on, call on Jesus. Ah. Just look around your neighborhood and say, the more you call them, the better you'll feel. I said, tell somebody else, the more you call them, the better you feel. Look in the back of the church and say, the more you call them, Come on, get the tune in your throat. Say, the more you call them, say, the better you feel. Look across the room and say, the more, the more you call them, the better you feel. Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Clap your hands and give them praise. I want you to testify to somebody in your neighborhood and I want you to tell them, say, neighbor, I got great news. Now, if they don't do nothing when you tell them this, get off of that road, get out that neighborhood. Amen. You're sitting next to a deadhead Christian. It may be a witch. I said, when you say this to them, you better make sure that you get a response from them. And I want you to testify and prophesy to somebody in your neighborhood and look at them and square in the eye and say, neighbor, come on, lift your voices like you at the projects hollering down for the key. Say, neighbor, I got great news. This next blessing shall not be repossessed. Y'all ain't get that. Y'all it. Where the praise is at? Oh! Aren't you tired of your blessings being repossessed? Tell somebody next to you, it shall not be repossessed. Say it shall not be repossessed. Everything that belongs to me is coming in my direction. If you're not on the turn up road, get out of there and jump in the aisle somewhere and find a praise. Look at your neighbor and say, It's mine, it's mine. I need about 25 of y'all to scream and dance and clap and he done took your stuff long enough but tell somebody in your row say I will not leave she favor empty handed I'm going out of here with my stuff like it's yours let God see how you're gonna act before you get it grab somebody
God and say, this is a praise in advance. Because by this time next week, where the screamers at, where the hollers, That's right, tear your row up. Come on. This will not be repossessed. This will not be repossessed. This one will not be repossessed. This one will not be. Look down your row, make sure they're doing something. was for you not to get here. But look and tell somebody, I made it to see favor. So I might as well turn up. Five hand cappers, six foot stompers, seven tongue talkers. That's all we need. Five hand clappers, six foot stompers, seven tongue talkers. That's all we need. Five hand clappers, six foot. Standing in that corner, Apostle Fred. The Lord said to me, He said, Anytime you go to a production, anytime you go to a performance, He said, When the audience hollers, Bravo, the artist must give an encore. The Lord said to me, he said, tell them if they give me a bravo praise, I'll give them an encore blessing. Now you ain't got to do it. It might sound a little crazy to you, but I'm talking to about 200 of y'all that are scream bravo. And God said, I got to come back and do it better than I did it before. One, two, three, come on.
ago. Clap those hands and give them glory. Look down your whole row and say, I feel miracles all up and down here. Come on, if they're not talking, get away from that warlock. I said, tell them, I feel miracles all up and down here. Come on, talk to your row. Say, I feel miracles. Let her out, let her out, let her out, let her out. Five, four, three, two, one. Somebody
of y'all done been in accidents last week. Some of y'all done got bad doctor's reports. Some of you got attacked in your body while you were here. And he said, when they show, they got to understand what their seed is doing. Mr. Wesley, listen. There was a word that kept coming to me last week. I kept hearing the word imp. I kept hearing the word imp, and because I studied demonology for a long time, I always studied devils and I studied demons, but, but the word imp, came, it kept coming to me. And I want you to know something, Tiffany, that what been, what's been happening to you and a lot of people that are here right now, God is breaking off. Watch this, watch this. I heard the word imp. Imp is a small demonic force. It's not necessarily bad, but it's not necessarily good. And when you have darkness around you, and it seems that every day something is happening. It seems that chaos somehow, every day is like something goes wrong every day like something touches your children every day or something is wrong with a relative every day and something some bill or something and it keeps happening happens every day but when you begin to watch God when he begin to break this off of you he begin to break it off of the other women that sit here God says that the chaos is broken. He says that the imps that seem to have been chasing you, he says, because you stood and did what I told you to do, he says, now when you go back to Atlanta, Everything is going to line up because it kept going wrong. And you say intercessors pray, but it kept going wrong. You kept fasting, but it kept going wrong. You start blaming it on your husband. God says it's been the imps. He says, and I'm moving everything out of your way. He says, for the light of the Lord shall meet you in Atlanta. And everything that had not come and everything that's been held up, God says, when you get there, it's going to flow. No more, baby. It's over. Watch the word of the prophet. Everything that's been holding your recording career up, it's over right now. Because chaos won't be able to touch you anymore. Everything that's been coming after you, stopping you from building the studio right, stopping you from getting the right clients. He says everything, he says it stops now. You know why? Because everything that was connected to you called chaos. And he says because I lose you, I'm gonna loose everything around you. Now watch what happened. Watch what happened to the prayers that you've been speaking over your little brother. I'm gonna let this go. I got one thing to say, but I need all of you to hear the prophecy that I'm getting ready to tell her. The Lord says you got one person that you gotta let go. He says, they cannot walk with you. He says, their season is up around you. Because you have this Judas. 
in this person. They act like they love you. But they go and try to sabotage everything you do. They try to sabotage every event. They try to sabotage every connection. He says you've been trying to love them. But God says you got to loose them. Wait, wait, wait. Just wave your hand and say, it shall not be repossessed. Come on, say it again. It shall not be repossessed. Say it again. It shall not be repossessed. And many of you have made the decision not to go back. Some of you said I had better church online than I had in my church. And you stood here and you said, I'm going to give it another shot when I come to she favor. It has to be a total move of God. It has to be a different kind of praise now. Down your road, say, I got a different kind of praise now. This scene, I don't want y'all to get in flesh when you hear it. Because when you sow this kind of seed, that means that the enemy's plan has been annihilated. And I stood there last night. I didn't know I was going to be up here tonight. And the Lord said to me in my right ear, Pastor, Pastor Michelle, Pastor Michelle. He said, if they want to see the enemy's back broken on their back, they will sow a bullock. Some of you said, well, what's a bullock? I didn't come to see. What is a bullock? What is a bullock seed? Look down your row, say. Tell somebody on your row, say, I've been so blessed during this pandemic. Oh, y'all trying to act funny. You didn't even know what a PP was. Some of the stuff you applied for, you thought you was going to be denied. But high five somebody and say, approved. Some of y'all ain't got houses, cars. Husbands, wives, booze. Look around your neighborhood. Say, I don't know about you, but I've been blessed. I've been blessed. Oh, y'all. I, I said, Look around and tell somebody, I've been blessed. I've been blessed. I don't know about you, I've been blessed. Mr. Mill since 220, since 2020. I ain't, I said, look at him like he's from the ghetto and said, like I said, I haven't missed a meal. I didn't even know I could get food stamps. ain't ready for this because the Lord said if you want to get something at the next dimension you got to show it the next dimension 
some of y'all, a hundred dollars ain't nothing now. And you never thought you'd get there. But the Lord said to me in my right ear, he said, we will sow a bullock. And a bullock is one thousand dollars. What? 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 Look at your neighbor and say, there ain't no money. See, it's all in your mentality. It's all in your attitude. It's all. See, some of y'all have said, what? That means that you have a mentality to say, I don't even think a hundred dollars. Come on, you got to tell somebody, that ain't even nothing to me. And some of y'all came and you said in your mind, I'm going to show a big seed when I go. Some of y'all been saving to sow this seed. Now, I hate when the Holy Ghost do this because he always put me out on a limb. But I'm God enough to trust him. Y'all hear me what I'm saying? Kenya and Jill, let me see y'all a minute. This is prophetic momentum. I got to talk to my homegirls. Prophetic momentum is sowing the first thousand. Uh, come on, y'all looking at me like I'm Papa Smurf. I said, we're sowing the first thousand. I want those of you, if you I, I, let me tell you something. I'm going to give this mic up. Gonna, they're going to give out the prizes. Y'all going to scream again. We're going to dance and go. You coming? We got one homie. Come in. Stand right here. I want y'all that said, I'm ready to break this enemy's back at my house. I got to give him a ridiculous seat. If y'all can just see what's going to happen on this side of here. I need, a, I need, I look down your road and say, come on, get up off of it. Jump in this out. So you stand right there. Get up off of it. Because see, what people going to say is, what, well, I didn't know she had a thousand dollars. What, mind your business. So prophetic momentum is given the first thousand. Let me tell you something. If you got something coming up on the calendar, you ought to sow into sheep favor. Because when you sow into this, God is sow into you. See, see, ain't no broke people in here tonight. They coming. Girl, let me go up with you. No, this is for me. I got to get this. Look down your road. Say, come on, dog. Say, get up off that seat. This is my wallet in front of my back. I need y'all. Look at your neighbor and say, I got to move on this. So Sheila, if you got 500, I got 500. See, see, you got to know how to talk to the people around you. Come on, tap them. Say, say Shaquana. Shaquina. Qua, qua. What you got? Five of us can get 200. That make a thousand. Look down, sir. Look down your road. Say, this is a different kind of seed here. I said, this is a different kind of seed. Let me get through here. I saw it all on you today. I saw it on you in my class today. It's a great blessing. Those you say, I'm so in this stop. Put your hands in the air. See, see. Let me, let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this for y'all whisperers. 
girl, I got to pay my hotel. I got to get my sandwich on the way back. I got to stop to McDonald's because yeah, you know ain't nothing open. So, girl, it's Friday. A thousand dollars. Girl, that's on my trip for the next year. Look at your neighbor and say, get out the box. And I am not even prophesying to none of them. They already know the prophetic move of God. Some of them already came to give this seed. And let me tell y'all something. I struggled with it. I went out there and went to the bathroom. I said, God, no. I said, don't do it. To tell somebody else to say it. He said, I told you. And when I saw in the vision, Apostle Fred and Jamila, I saw the line for the bullock all the way to the door. Hey. And those that know me, I've never been a lying prophet. Those that know me, you know I don't wait till you get to the parking lot to prophesy. If God say it now, you getting it now. I've never been a lying prophet a day in my life. If God don't say it, look at somebody say, if God don't say it, you don't say it. They're still coming. I need five business people. I need business people. Thank you. Hold that seat up. Hold that seat up. Hold it up. He which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly. He which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Every man according as he purposed in his heart, so let him give. Not grudgingly or necessity, for God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able to make all grace, unmerited favor, abound towards you, that you may have all things, you may have all things, and you may abound in every great work. So saith the word of the Lord. Now when you sow this seed, they still coming. See, the problem is some of y'all start thinking about it. If you need to sow, you can go. I don't know if y'all saw this, but you can go right on this app. You can sow here too. She favor. Point your camera towards this like you do in the restaurants, and it'll pick it up. Now... Look at somebody on your road and say, this is a crazy seed. But I need something crazy from God. This is not a struggling ministry. This is not a struggling conference. Look at somebody and say, we're never struggling. Say the good ends will never go in the hole. Open your mouth and say it, y'all. The goodness will never go in the hole. They will never be in the red. They will never go. They will not lack nothing. I said side eye somebody. Look at them doing the side eye and say never in the hole. Some of y'all that's on this line, this is going to change where you're getting ready to relocate at. Tell somebody my next neighborhood, they are gonna give me the side eye. Hold that seat. They're still coming. They're still coming. I see the line all the way back. I know what God said. I know what God said. 
Thank you, ma'am. That last lady that just got up, wave both your hands like that, girl. Because he get ready to free everybody in your family. Everybody in your bloodline get ready to be free. Now listen, listen, because there are those of you that say, okay, let me ask you this question. How many of y'all say, Lord, if I had that seed, I would be, I would have been the first one on that line. I would have been running. Y'all going to be honest? If I had that, I would have been up there. I would have been flying up there. I want you that raised your hand, I want you to stand up right now. See, can everybody raise their hand because everybody don't have that kind of faith. I want you to make this vow before the Lord. And don't say if, say when. Say when the Lord releases this in my account, I will sow the bullock seed to she favor. Those of you that's coming, come on, come on. Just come, come on, come on, come on. Now listen, I want everybody to get a seat in your hand. If you can do 100, start standing up. You can do 500, start standing up. Come on, this is a break the back of the enemy seat. We can't fool around with no $5, $2, but well, that's all I have. Then you talk to Gladys and your crew and y'all get together. All I got is 20. Talk to, Ger talk to Gertrude and Gladys. Say, so we got to break the back of the enemy. Come on. All I got is 500. I got 600. I got 550. Let me tell y'all. Now y'all do the math when you get home. All those that sow in the thousand dollars go like this. He said, this seed is according to Genesis 26 and 12. In the year that Isaac sowed, he reaped a hundredfold in the same year. You do the math. Hold up, hold up, hold up. 
This woman of God said she want to sow another thousand. She said, I want to sow another thousand for one of the people that wish they had it. Go ahead, Tim. See, when your blessings overflow, I want you to touch somebody and say, you get a thousand, you get a thousand, you get a thousand. They double in the sea. Some of you come here and say, I didn't have a thousand. What you sowing, girl? Hey, come on here. Come on. I want everybody, get a seat in your hand. Don't you sit there. Get a seat in your hand. Come on, they're coming with a hundred. They're coming with five hundred. They're coming with six hundred. Come on. This is a break the back of the enemy see. What you say? On your rope, say, excuse me. Look at your neighbor and say, I ain't scared of money. Scared money don't make money. Come on, move towards that aisle. Not towards the door, but towards the aisle. That, that lady right there, that, come in, come in. Come in. You were dancing. You were dancing. You were dancing, and the Lord said, put a hundred in her hand to let him know I got your back in the whole situation. God said, get ready, girl. You get ready to dance all the way to the bank. And everything they said wouldn't happen is getting ready to happen for you. Somebody celebrate her. Come on, everybody get a C. I only got $20. Move towards that aisle. Come on, we get ready to move. Yeah. 
I only got a hundred. I only got two. I only got three hundred. still coming. Look down your row. Say, did did, did y'all get? Did y'all get? I don't have thousand. I got 270. Across the island, tell them you get ready to get something big. We get ready to hand it over. Those of you that came to the VIP luncheon today, how many enjoyed that? So what I'm getting ready to say is, especially for y'all that was at the VIP luncheon, the Lord said the seeds that were sown tonight, and I want y'all to make a lot of noise, God's going to perform a miracle for Apostle Jamila. I'm going to say it again. That seed just broke the back of the enemy to perform a miracle for her. Y'all ain't loud enough for me. See, I'm watching some of y'all. I'm watching some of y'all. I said it's going to perform a miracle. How many want to see a miracle? to see a miracle. Da, 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 da. Switch me over. Let's have some church for her miracle. Hey, come on. I want y'all to howl. Miracle. 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 Miracle.
Come on, let's receive AP. Honey, 
and not love kakalaki. Let me explain something to you. I can't stand the devil. Sit down. I can't stand him. I, I can't stand him because he really is not a smart individual. He think he is. Anytime you get upset about a, a foe that's defeated, What y'all scared of? He's a defeated foe. That means before he started his junk, before he came in your house, God already worked it out. Listen, y'all sit down. We got to, it's tomorrow I'll preach. Tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. Listen, we got to get out of here because we got to be back here tomorrow. Now listen, I believe in the spirit of oneness. Those of you that have your shirts, wear them because the power of God is going to hit this place. And even though it has hit this place from day one, God said there's going to be a specific anointing that's going to fall tomorrow. It's not because of me. Please understand. It's because where two or three are gathered. And so this is the third day tomorrow. So when two or three are gathered, God said, I shall be in the midst and he will. I want to say thank you. Thank you. I'm going to say this today and I'm going to say it tomorrow. Thank you for allowing God to use you to be here. Because some of you had to hear the voice of God to get here. Oh, y'all don't believe that? Some of you, God says specifically, I need you in that building because you need a breakthrough. And so I am honored that God has allowed your ear to be inclined to his voice to be obedient. Amen. We get ready to give away our raffle for tonight. I want to say I thank God for you all. I thank God for my husband. I thank God for all of you. I thank God because when I, it, listen. Y'all got to know where she favorite going to be next year. Oh, oh, oh. This is small. How many been here for the first time? Okay. Well, y'all missed the other ones. This is small. We had to cut it down because of the pandemic. But there are thousands every day. They missed that one. And so I thank God for you, Michelle. You done got your breakthrough. Michelle, listen, I, 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 y'all know inside of me is a comedian. Michelle, when you get your breakthrough, you, you move like roaches crawling on you. you just... You ever had a water bug crawl on your back? That's how Michelle, but she got it. She got it. I sit here and I laugh and happy birthday again to my sister. I, 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 mm -hmm. I sit here and I laugh when people are getting their breakthrough because I'm tickled. I'm tickled and I say, get him, Jesus. <laughs> get him. God. Oh, she tearing up the pew. Get her, God. And I'll be tickled because it brings God joy to see us all rejoice because of this Savior we know that changed our life. You hear me? So tomorrow I will be ministering to you all. And I want you to please be here. Wear your shirts if you can. If it don't fit, wear it anyway. Make it fit. Tell your girlfriend to stretch it out tonight. Be creative. I think Nateria, she was very creative. Nateria cut hers up because she's very creative. Be creative, but put it on. Because there is something about the spirit of oneness that God says that you can command the blessings of God. And so I need everyone to be on one accord. Tiffany will be ministering to us again. And I don't sing like her or Jacqueline. It's funny. If it sounds funny somebody jacking up my name but I jack up y'all's name every day and I want to say if you can't pronounce my name what you get some nickname so I got a nickname tonight and so I want to say um what was my name J Pastor Jillian 
That was amazing. I jacked up one of the pay sisters' name and Donald Lawrence and them trolled me for days. And so I didn't take it. I didn't take it personal. I laughed at it. I want to say to all of you who've come near and far, please be here tomorrow. Tomorrow, I want you to understand there's going to be a move of God. It's tight up in here. See, when we be at the hotel, we can just tear up the place. In honor of the bishop of the house, Bishop Blunt, tear it up anyway. <laughs> no, seriously. No, tear it up anyway. The power of God is going to hit this place. And I'm honored to speak to you. There's going to be instructions on tomorrow. The gatekeepers and the people who are assisting me, they're going to give you something. Don't put it in your purse. Remember, I give instructions for a reason. They're going to hand you something. Do not put it in your purse. Black people. You cannot have one for your girlfriend who is online and she's in the comment section saying, bring me one home. Mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Y'all know how y'all do? Can I have two or three because my daughter is home and she need one? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. There is an instruction that God gave me concerning what I'm going to put in your hand. It seems small, but it's going to be big. It seems small, but it's going to break the yokes of bondage and change your life. So be here tomorrow. Michelle, would you come on? We're going to do the raffle. And then after that, I'm going to ask Tiffany to do something for me. So give her a mic. We're going to end after Michelle gives the raffle. My husband, if he's here, he's probably downstairs. Um, and if he doesn't come up, just say the benediction. But Tiffany... I need you to sing this song for me when, when they finish. Great is thy faithfulness. I need you to sing that. Because people don't understand that we serve a faithful God when we have been unfaithful. They don't understand that God said, all that you need, my hand shall provide it. Yeah. They don't understand that what you hear concern about. God said, I've already worked it out. Great is your faithfulness, Lord God, to me. Uh -huh. Oh, I'll oh, wait till tomorrow. God gave me instructions. But tonight, he said, I need the thankful praises. I need those that know that God makes a way out of no way. I need somebody to understand that great is your faithfulness, Lord God, to me when I was not faithful. God, you were faithful to me. So that's how we going to end. And if you can leave, you can scary out the door. But if not, night. All right, I'm ready. Let's get a drum roll. All right. All right, all right. All right. Ticket number 553203. Five, five, three, two, zero, three. Is that right? Five, five, three, two. Harriet Hunt, come on, girl. Let's make sure this number match. Come on. All right, let's give Miss Harriet a hand. Let's see what she, she want to show y'all. <laughs> Woo! Yes! All right. All right. You're welcome. Drum roll, please. You came straight in the door and didn't get no ticket. Drum roll, please. Come on, drum roll. Hey. All right. Five, five, three, one, six, two. 
All right. You got the winning ticket. All right. You We're going to go ahead and dismiss on tonight. We'll see you all here on tomorrow night. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for what we have experienced in the room on tonight. We pray, God, for traveling mercies, God, to our destinations on tonight, God. We pray, God, that as you will have us to assemble ourselves here on tomorrow, that you will meet us here, Father, in the name of Jesus. Bless the word. Bless your people, God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Great is thy faithfulness. Oh God, my Father, there is no shadow of turning with thee. Oh.